Eliza. Today's makeup look is going to be on this Golden Glam makeup tutorial. I am going to skip the intro and go ahead and go straight into the tutorial because I really want to make something that was quick and fast and I wanted to show you guys how I did this makeup look. So if you want to see how I got this, then just keep on watching. So I already went ahead and applied my foundation as well as filled in my brows just so we can move along forward and excuse my nails because I know they are ratchet right now. First we're going to start off with an eye primer. I'm using this one by Jordana. I recently got this at Walgreens and I really wanted to try it out because I'm always in the hunt for a really good eye primer. For today's look, we're going to be using the Tartlet in Bloom Palette. I'm going to take this Bone Shadow. It's in the shade Charmer. And we're going to apply that all over the eyelid on top of the eye primer because we want to really warm up the eye primer. So all the shadows that we apply on top of it just go nice and smooth and everything is just easier to blend. So for the next shadow, we are, we're going to take the shadow Rebel. And we're going to apply that into the crease. It's just a very warm brown shadow. And we're going to make sure we apply this in the outer V and the inner V of the eyelid. We want to keep the center of the eyelid very blank. Then we're going to just blend that into the crease, making sure that everything is nice and blended with a fluffy brush. Now we're going to take the shadow Leader. This is a matte burgundy brown shade. It's very dark, so we're going to keep this in the outer V and the inner V of the eyelid. And we're going to also blend it into the crease. Remember to keep this just on the outer and inner V area because we don't want this on the eyelid. And you can deepen this look as much as you want. It's totally up to you. All I'm doing is just applying a little at a time then packing it on and then blending it. I don't want to go in straight with dark shadow because then it would be so hard to blend and it will not look good at all. So that's what I am doing. And this is how it should look. The center should be blank. So now I'm gonna take Max Fix Plus on a flat shader brush and I'm gonna take the shadow Firecracker. It's a beautiful shimmery golden bronze shade. It's more golden when you apply Max Fix Plus, and I'm applying that to the center of the eyelid. And I'm just going to keep packing on the shadow Firecracker all over the eyelid. It's such a beautiful shadow, especially when you use Max Fix Plus. That's why I love using Max Fix Plus. Now I'm just going to take more of Leader. It's that brown burgundy shade and applying that to the inner and outer corners just to make sure that it is nice and blended. And I did want this eye look to be more deeper in the inner and outer corners. That's why I applied that shadow more. Then I'm going to go back into Firecracker. And just to intensify it more, I really want to pack on that shadow. Then I just applied some eyeliner. I did a wing liner. Then taking the shade Rebel again. I'm going to take a flat eyeliner brush and apply that to the lower lash line to smoke it out. Then I'm going to take the shadow Rebel again and apply that to the lower lash line to make the eye look more deep. Taking your favorite black eyeliner, apply that to the waterline. And I'm just taking the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara. Oh my god, guys, this mascara is amazing. I love applying this on my lashes. All I'm doing is just applying that to the top and bottom of my lashes. And I'm going to apply some eyelashes because you cannot have a glam look without some eyelashes. Then taking the Kat Von D Shade and Lights contour palette i'm going to take these two shadows right or these two shades right here and i'm going to use those two to contour with i'm applying that in the cheek area the forehead and under my chin then i'm going to take this jordana blush in the shade cinnamon spice and i'm applying that on the apples of my cheeks and i'm just using a clean brush to diffuse the, sh the shade and i'm going to take Anastasia's Beverly Hills Highlighting Powder in the shade 
so Hollywood. I'm just applying that on the top of my cheekbones, my nose, my chin, and my forehead to give me such a beautiful glow. Then taking the Milani lipstick in the shade Matte Beauty. Oh my god, this is literally like my favorite, favorite lipstick from Milani. And then this is the final look. I know it was very fast, but I really wanted to show you guys how I did this makeup look. I think it's so gorgeous. I loved it when I wore it out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me if you guys subscribed. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. I love you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.